All right, hello, welcome to Total Body. This should be your Monday workout. We will need a set of sliders. So we've got our sliding discs here, but if you don't have an official set of sliding discs, totally fine. You can use a set of Tupperware or Tupperware lids or even like the top of like a spinach container. <laughs> um, I've seen people use, they work really well on carpet. If you've got hardwood or tile floor, you can use socks, dishcloths, or paper towels even, whatever you've got. So go ahead and pause the video, go get your sliders, go get whatever you're gonna use for your sliding um, part of the workout. And we're just gonna be doing three circuits with three moves each, and only one move each circuit is gonna be a slider, slider um, exercise. So the whole workout's not gonna be sliders, don't worry. <laughs> okay, so if you're ready, if you're all warmed up, which you should be, total body warm up, if you haven't warmed up yet, please pause the video and go to my website and check out the 10 minute warm up videos and do one of those total body warm ups before we start so you're not cold so you're not injuring yourself and so you get the most out of this workout so you want your exercise you want your muscles to be nice and warm before we start so we can get the most out of it right okay first move inchworm to plank up down so sammy's going to be my demonstrator today Mama is feeling quite large. <laughs> Good, and then you're gonna come down to your elbows. Good, and then back up and just walk it back in. Beautiful, okay. That is our first move. First round is gonna be 60 seconds long. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Walk it out, plank up, down, down to the elbows, back up to the hands, walk it back in. So modification would be, you can always come down to your knees to do the plank up downs. And you can always keep this higher, keep this on an elevated surface. So if you need to use your couch or even your countertop, so you're taking some of the pressure, some of the resistance off the shoulders. Nice work, nice work. And then if you need to, if the plank up down is too difficult, just hit that plank, just walk it out from the inchworm, hold the plank, and then walk it right back in. You're still working the shoulders and the triceps. Definitely a thorough upper body and core exercise right here. 15 seconds, almost there. Good, last couple reps. Next move, we're gonna need our sliders. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Beautiful, shake those wrists out, shake those shoulders out because we are gonna go back into um, using our hands and shoulders. So you're gonna grab your sliders, put one on each foot. Sammy's also gonna demonstrate the modification for this. So we'll do the first move, the regular move first, and then we'll demonstrate the modification, which would be on your knees. But you're gonna come out into a full plank. You can also do this from a low plank if you prefer to be on your elbows. We're gonna sweep the right leg up into a circle, then the left leg around into a circle, and then both feet together at the same time, okay? And then let's demonstrate the modification. So just go to your knees. It might be a little bit harder to keep the sliders on your knees there, but sit, right leg circle. Yeah, it is tough. Yeah. The way our sliders are, it's, it's a nice wide disc. So it's so hard to make it move, honestly. Yeah. Yeah, a little difficult. Okay. So for that modification, I would just hold the plank and do it without the sliders and use your knee. Just sweep your knee up, sweep the other knee up, and alternate that way if you're doing the modification version. All right, here we go. Three, two, and go. Single leg sweep, single leg sweep, both feet together. And for this one especially, whenever we're in a plank like this and we're moving, shifting our weight from side to side, most of your weight should be in the shoulders and the upper body, okay? Nice and light on the toes. You wanna feel your lower abs are working, your lower abs are the primary movers. And if you do get tired, if you get fatigued by doing those together, see if we can single leg. So just do one leg at a time, right leg and left leg. Nice job, guys. Yes. It's I tough. Like core burner. Yes, this is a core burner. This is not easy. You got this. And if you need to, just holding that plank on the sliders is enough of a challenge. Just hold that plank. Less than 10 seconds. You got this. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Okay, single those wrists out, circle those shoulders out, 
and then you're going to flip over onto your back. We don't need the sliders for this one. We're going to do a single leg bridge, single leg sit up. So you're just going to extend your legs straight out from the other knee. You're going to do a single leg bridge, the lifting the hips, then lowering the hips, pressing through that heel. And then we sit up with that other leg still elevated, lower back down, and then we switch legs. Okay, so alternating from side to side, single bridge, single sit up. Three, two, and go. Good. So trying to get that full range of motion in both exercises. So really pressing through the heel, the bottom heel, lifting the hips as high up as you can. Beautiful. And then you're going to reach and sit, lifting that upper, middle, and lower back off the ground, lifting the shoulder blades off the ground, reaching up towards that straight leg. Beautiful. This is the last move in our first circuit. And then we're going to go back to the top, decreasing our time decreasing the rounds. This is um, a total body day, a total body workout. Obviously we are gonna be using some dumbbells eventually, but we're doing a lot of core. <laughs> so we're gonna start our week off with a bang and uh, your core will thank you in a couple days. So really heavily focusing on that mind muscle connection, engaging the core through each of these moves. Good, three, two, and rest. Nice job, breathe. Take it out, grab water if you need it. We're going for round two. So this is just gonna be 45 seconds each move. So decreasing by 15 seconds. Easy peasy, right? Mm -hmm. We're gonna start with our inchworm, walk out, plank up, down, high plank to low plank, and then walk it back in. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Walk it out. Elbow, elbow, hand, hand. Walk it back in, beautiful. Try to keep those legs as straight as possible when you walk out and in. So you're getting that whole back body stretch. You're stretching through the hamstrings, the glutes, the calves even. Good work. And then also trying to alternate which hand goes down first. So you're not always leading with your dominant hand. So we're getting some work unilaterally on that, on that non-dominant side. Good, 10 seconds. <laughs> Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Beautiful. Good. Give those wrists a shake out. Give those shoulders a shake out. Nice job, guys. Okay, second move, we're going to grab the sliders. This is a tough one. That's <laughs> That's why, so why it's in the first circuit. So one foot on each slider, single leg circle, single leg circle, both legs together. Feel free to just keep that single leg option if you want, if it's working for you. And if you do get tired, just hold that plank. Keep the toes on the sliders, but just hold that plank. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Big circle sweep, circle sweep, both feet. Good. And we're trying to get as full of a range of motion as you can. So super light on the toes, then bringing the knees up as high as you can so we're getting into those side obliques, working into those oblique muscles. Good job, you're halfway there. Nice and strong, pressing through the fingertips, pressing up and out of the shoulders, you got this. Less than 15, take it as slowly or as quickly as you need to. Hold that plank if you need to. You're solid as a rock, less than 10. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice job, guys. Good. Breathe. Again, shake those wrists and shoulders out. And then we flip it over for our single leg bridge, single leg sit up. All right. Alternating between the two exercises, full range of motion. Three, two, and go. All the way up. And then we reach. Good. Nice work. Nice work. A nice little reprieve for the shoulders. <laughs> Lying on our back. Giving that upper body a little rest before we start our last time through. And that's our speed round. Just our 30 second round. You guys are crushing it on a Monday. <sighs> reach. Nice job. So pressing through the glutes. Activating the biggest muscles in our body, the back body, the glutes, less than 10 seconds. Press 
and reach. Nice job. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Breathe. <laughs> Shake it out. We're going to do that circuit one last time. That feels awesome work. All right. I think I'll do this last one with you. Okay. <laughs> I'll do this one with you. Maybe not. Maybe, Maybe I'll do yeah. the sliders. Maybe I'll do the sliders. We'll see. Okay. 30 seconds only. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Walk it out. Down, down, up, up. Walk it in. Good work. Strong through that core. Strong through the shoulders and the triceps. Nice job. 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Breathe. Woo! My arms. My arms are sore already. Okay. Do you want me to do this one? What is it? I'll do it. Okay. You do it. You're working on that baby. Yeah, I don't know. My little muscle pool. <laughs> Definitely not loving this one. Okay. Here we go. Three, two, and go. 30 seconds only. You got this. Rock it out. Full range of motion. Super strong through the shoulders and the triceps. Pressing through the fingertips. Light on the wrists. Light on the toes. Awesome job. Woo! You got this. Less than halfway. You've got 10 seconds. Stay strong. Last couple reps. Make them good. Last five. Four, three, two, and rest. Nice work. Definitely sweating. Yay. Awesome. Okay. Last move, single leg bridge, single leg sit up, and then we move on to our second circuit. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Full range of motion. Get those hips as high as you can. Second circuit is going to start with a slider move. We will need those handy next. And then we're going to use a dumbbell, dumbbells for our second um, move in that second circuit. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Great job. Okay, get water, shake it out. We're going to demonstrate our second circuit. You're going to start with the plank sliders. We're going to one foot on each slider, plank, knee tucks. This is our knee tuck. So right leg, left leg, and then both legs at the same time. Okay. So similar to that last move where we were doing circles, now we're just taking the knee straight up to the chest, back down, straight up to the chest, and then both at the same time, pushing it back. Good. So that is our first move. Okay. <clears throat> Ready? Here we go. Three. <laughs> Two and go. Drive it up. Drive it up. Both. Press it back. Good. So again, modification. You can always come down to the kneeling option. Knees on the sliders. If your sliders are <laughs> slippery enough, ours weren't really cooperating in that position. Or you can take it just straight to the floor. You don't even need a slider. And you can do like a slow mountain climber, slow mountain climber and hold it for, for a pause for a second there. Also, whenever we're using sliders on the feet in the plank position, if you need to rest, it is just as difficult to hold a plank with your feet on sliders without even moving them. So don't be shy, don't feel shameful. Just hold that plank with your feet on the sliders because you're still using that friction again, working against that friction in the carpet. Last four. Three, two, and rest. Great job. Shake those wrists and shoulders out. Then you're going to flip over onto your back. You're going to need a medium to light set of dumbbells. We're going to do dumbbell flies. You don't want to go too, too heavy here. Don't want to get into that danger zone for the shoulders. Starting with your arms straight out from your chest. Yep, knees are lifted. And so knees are right over the hips. We're about 90 degrees at the knees. And as you fly open, we're going to tap those heels to the floor and then lift everything back up together. Okay. So 
so you can fly open at the same time, nice and slow and controlled, really pulling the belly button toward the spine so your lower back is firmly pressing into the ground the whole time, okay? Here we go, three, two, and go. And modification for this one would be single leg. So just doing one leg at a time. We're keeping the knees bent to protect the lower back. So you definitely don't wanna feel any tension or tightness or pulling in the lower back. And if you are, I highly suggest just keeping your knees where they are, just holding them statically over your hips. You're still working your core. You're still engaging your core. So no need to move them up and down if that is pulling on your back. Definitely don't wanna feel it. And then secondly, talking about the breathing. So always trying to sync the breath with the movement. Inhaling open, exhaling everything back through center. Good. And we're using deep, deep breaths, deep inhales to fuel the muscles, to fuel the cells, to help engage the core. So as you're deeply exhaling, you're feeling those muscles contract and tighten, corset muscles wrap towards each other. Three, two, and rest. Great job. All right, next move. We're just gonna set the dumbbells aside. Stay on your back, stay in that position, hands behind your head, and then we're doing a pelvic tuck sit up, so elbows to knees. So as you crunch everything in, reaching your knees, your quad towards your elbows, and then getting your shoulders off the ground at the same time, okay? Three, two, and go. I told you this is a core heavy, <laughs> core heavy. workout. You might be feeling this tomorrow, good. Always love a core workout. I know, I never trained my core ever. Really? That's why you're feeling yeah. it so much. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's pushing me. Yeah, yeah, the slider moves ahead. Uh -huh. the breath with the movement where we can. <sighs> Exhaling as we lift off the floor. So crunching everything in, we deeply exhale. Lowering phase, we inhale. 10 seconds, and then we're gonna go back to those sliders. Four, three, two, and rest. Great job. All right, breathe. Take it out. One foot on each slider. We decrease the time back down to 45 seconds. Single leg knee, single leg knee, both knees together. This is just a plank tuck, so we're just driving the knees straight up toward the chest. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Good. And in. Tuck, tuck, and in. Beautiful. Good work, good work. Stay strong, mama. You got this. Maybe try working with your left foot first. Typically, that would be your, your non dominant side. See if that feels better. Oh, man. Oh, man. You've got less than 15. You're almost there. Hold that plank if you need to. Try not to drop your knees. Try to just hold less than 10. You got five. Four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Shake it out. Nice work. Those are not, <laughs> she goes, I hate those. <laughs> those are not easy, but you're crushing it. Good job. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to do the next one with you. I think I can do this one. So we're going to yeah. do flies, dumbbell flies with our heels lowering to the floor. Dumbbell flies, knees bent, heels tap the floor. Okay, yeah, good idea. All right, 45 seconds. Three, two, and go. All the way up. So really feeling that lower back pressing into the floor. Inhale, exhale in. Take the breath with the movement. Reach it, exhale in. 20 seconds. You've got one more move. That is your sit up, pelvic tuck sit up. 
Good work. Arms nice and long. Whenever we're doing flies, nice long lever, long arms, but slight bend in the elbow. Three, two, and rest. Good job. Oh man, I really feel those abs working. My abs are dying. Oh, your abs. <laughs> yeah. Abs are already in. Uh -huh. Toasted, huh? Okay, good. Good, because we're filming an ab workout. I'm just <laughs> yeah, you're going to get an extra good tomorrow. Okay, on your back, another ab move. Ooh, pelvic, um, pelvic tuck sit up. Woo! That's what I'm here for, to keep you on track. Here mm -hmm. we go. Three, <laughs> two, and go. Crunch it in, lower. Lift, beautiful. So we're getting those shoulder blades off the ground. Everything's like an accordion coming into the center. And just like an accordion, we're exhaling the air, squeezing all the air out as we come into center and then filling it back up as we elongate to the floor. Good. Just give you a visual. You're crushing it. Almost there, you got 15 seconds. Then we're gonna go back to our speed round, 30 seconds. Almost done this set. You're good. You got this. Ten seconds. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Beautiful. Good job. Take it out. Breathe. Heart rate should be up. What's your heart rate? Ninety-five. Yeah. Ninety-five. Yeah. Ninety-five. Yeah. We were just talking about how the watches may not be as accurate as like a chest strap. And I know some of my clients use a chest strap and they yeah. really like it. They like they have are really good. And she had one and she I forgot, forgot it. it. So she's wearing my watch and she's like, I don't like the watch because it doesn't work as well. And I think, I think you're right. I think the closer to your heart, the more accurate it's going to be. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Last round, speed round for this set. Plank sliders, knee tucks. Here we go. I'll do this with you without like. Sliders, I think I am. Okay. Three, two, and go. In, in. Yeah. In, and good work, guys. In, in. 15 seconds. Up, up. Stay strong. A lot of time for these sliders. I can tell you in our next circuit, our last circuit. Don't have another plank slide. Oh. <laughs> Three, two, and rest. Good job. Flip it over. Onto your back. Grab your dumbbells. Chest fly. Lower the heels. Tap the floor. 30 seconds only. Three, two, and go. Bring it up. Inhale, sink the breath with the movement. Feel that core. Should definitely be talking to you by now. Good work, good work. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Nice work, guys. Awesome job. Okay. Last move is your plank, or sorry, plank. Sit up, okay. pelvic tuck. Three, two, and go. Crunch it in. Elbows to knees. Good. Getting those shoulder blades off the ground. I say this all the time, but when you, the more you lift your upper body off the ground, the more core you're engaging. Good. Last four, three, two, and rest. Beautiful. Good. Okay, next. Grab water. Breathe. No, no, this or okay. Last circuit, last set, best set, right? You're gonna need a set of dumbbells for an overhead press, but I encourage you not to go too heavy because we're gonna do that fancy. You can grab the eights or unless you want the tens. You want the tens? Um, what was it again? I'm sorry. It's gonna be plank. Step or hop it into a squat. Nice wide squat, dropping the hips below the knees. Press. Oh, yeah. So we're pressing from that low squat, which is why you don't want to go super heavy because you don't want to 
lose your center of gravity and fall forward. It is typical and it's a lot of core to stay yeah. low and press. So Later. up to you. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So that's what we're doing. So plank, step it into squat, overhead press, step back to plank. Here we go. First round, 60 seconds. Three, two, and go. And stay low all the way up. Good. So we're encouraging you. Full, like great form, ideal form here would be nice wide stance, just like Sammy's doing, and pressing your heels through the floor. So a lot of people, sometimes our hips or ankles are super tight and our heels may tend to pop up off the ground. But if you're really opening those knees, pressing the elbows against the inner thighs even, you can use oh those gosh. elbows, good job, as an anchor and then press up because you want those heels flat on the floor so then you're not balancing teetering on your joints trying to get those dumbbells overhead you got 15 seconds you're almost there Woo! last 10 good work good work you can always come to a single arm press so go right arm then left arm five four three two and yeah. rest good job that's tough Anyway. Your legs? Yeah. Your legs are sore? Okay. All right. Next move, we are going to use the sliders. This is our last slider move. You're on your knees. We're going to do a modified push up variation. So, why don't you go diagonally so you okay. can so that you're in the screen? Yeah. So, she's going to do a push up, but as she does the push up, she, as she lowers to the floor, she's going to send one arm straight out on that diagonal. Yeah, and then come back in, and then other side. Sweep it out on that diagonal. Can you turn actually so you're flipped, so the feet are down there? Yeah, the legs are up there, or the arms are up there. Yeah, so they can see you better. Mm -hmm. Yeah, so as you lower, reaching out, keeping that arm straight, come back in. Beautiful. So this is a ton of core. So I highly encourage you to start on your knees, even if you think you're a push up champion and you want to start on your toes. It's different because you're going to be using a ton of core and losing that stability in one arm. So start on your knees, and if you'd like to progress it up to your toes, feel free, but go slow and controlled. Okay, here we go. Three, two, and go. Slide it out. Exhale, push it in. Good. The modification here would be to not go as far. So just take, don't take that depth as far. Kind of push your limit, find your edge here. And if you feel strong, if you feel strong in this modified position, then I encourage you to try to get your chest all the way to the floor. But that is a longer lever, that's a lot more, a lot less stability. So play with it. Only go as far as you feel comfortable in your core. So this is, you should not feel it in your lower back. If you are feeling it in your lower back, I want you to pull up, like you've got a string attached to that lower back. From the belly button pulling up to the spine. You got 10 seconds. <sighs> Inhale long, exhale, bring it in. Try to engage the lower back. Breathing. Three, two, and rest. Good job. Okay. Squat. Let's use the 12 pounds. Squat, curl, press. Super simple move to end on. We've done this a million times. Nice wide stance. Pressing through both heels. We get low squat, curl, press. Three, two, and go. Go ahead. Yep. And you can just curl as you stand. Doesn't matter where you go. Yep. All the way up. Beautiful. Her head's getting cut off, but you guys know what you're doing. All the way up. Good. Curl, press. Beautiful job. Total body move right here, working those biceps a little more than we have this whole workout, giving the core a little bit of a rest. Still using the core whenever we come up through a squat. Hey, okay. Yeah, 20 seconds. Then we decrease the rounds. We go back to that first move of that half plank or the plank, step into squat, overhead press. 10 seconds here. Good work, good work. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. Set those dumbbells aside. 
So Sammy went heavier for that one. So I encourage you because it's a classic squat curl press. You can go heavier for that overhead press. For this next one where we're staying low in the squat, probably stay lighter with your dumbbells. Okay, so you don't fall off balance. Right? Okay, here we go. 45 seconds. Let's see if I can do this one. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Stay low. Press. Good. Modification is you can always go to that single arm option. One arm at a time. Keep the cool core pulling in. Navel to spine. So this is basically a squat curl press. <laughs> but we're staying low. Oh, coming from that plank. Let's start 15 seconds. Oh my gosh. Gets hard on the shoulders. 10. Five, four, three, two, and rest. Oh Good gosh. job. Wow. All right. <clears throat> Next move are push ups with the sliders. Push ups with the sliders. 45 seconds. Here we go. Three, two, and go. We're almost there, guys. Bring it in. Good job. So most importantly here, I want you to protect your lower back. So only going as low as you feel stable. Pulling the navel to the spine. Good job. You're almost there, you've got less than 15. Bring it in nice and strong. Less than 10. Last five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job. You'll definitely feel that in your triceps and your shoulders too, because we're working a lot of those muscles a little bit differently than you would if you were just doing a straight, normal military style push ups. Okay. All right. Last move squat curl press. Classic. Coming back up to standing. Here we go. Three, two, and go. Get low. All the way up. Pull the belly button toward the spine as you stand. Nice, strong core. Especially whenever we have weight going overhead. Good work. Higher your shoulders. Tired. Tired your legs. Tired. <laughs> What's more tired? Your core, your legs, your shoulders? Um, probably my core. For sure. Yeah. But I definitely feel stronger. Yay! Feel stronger already. Woo! Five, four, three, two, and rest. Good job, guys. We've got one last round, 30 seconds each. Then we're done. That is a minute and a half of work. Do it. You got this. I'll do this one with you. Okay. Here we go. <laughs> <laughs> Three, two, and go. Stay low. Use that core. All the way up. Form all your speed. So if you need to take it slow, by all means, take it slow. Listen to your body. Ten seconds. Like your time, huh? Harder than they look. Good work, guys. Crushing it. So 
focus on that core. Three, two, and rest. Good job. Done with the sliders. Throw those out of the way. Last move, last 30 seconds. Squat curl press. Go as quickly or as slowly as you'd like to go. You know what to do here. Let's put this camera up a little bit, show you we're not cheating. Here we go. Let's do this. Three, two, and go. All the way up. Awesome job, guys. Using the breath, so we're connecting back to that deep breathing. Form, form, form. Get low, booty back and down, squeezing the glutes, the butt cheeks together at the top. Got that contraction, less than 10. Five, four, three, two, finish it out. And rest, good job guys. Awesome work. Whoa. Woo! Thank you so much, Sammy, for being my demonstrator. I can't do everything full out, but I will be soon. Thank you to all who joined us. Hope you have a fabulous Monday. Make sure you stretch. I would definitely take time to stretch your core. So do a little cobra, laying on your belly, pressing up to stretch that whole front body. Then we definitely shoulders because we did so many planks. We did those overhead presses and legs as well because we did a bunch of squats. And just holding those planks, you are gripping your quads as well. So definitely stretch out your quads, your glutes. Don't skimp on the stretching. Take the next 10 minutes to really organically bring your heart rate down. Control your breathing. Stretch, stretch, stretch. You don't want to be super sore tomorrow because tomorrow we've got legs. All right. <laughs> Thank you, guys. Bye.